Afternoon, everybody. My name is Jesse Hagopian. I teach right behind you. I'm the advisor to what one of the co-advisors to the Black Student Union here at Garfield High School. That's becoming a force to reckon with in this city. A Black Student Union. A Black Student Union that's reclaiming the name from back when it started here at Garfield High School in 1968 uh, with the Dixon brothers and with Larry Gossett at the University of Washington bringing back that spirit of resistance that once shook this nation and will again. I can't breathe, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Eleven times he said those words before he took his last breath. Yes. That's right. The police become necessary in human society only at that juncture in human society when it's split between those who have and those who ain't got. It's not just Eric Garner that can't breathe, it's all of black America that can't breathe today across this nation. The black people in Ferguson can't breathe. 12-year-olds in Cleveland can't breathe. Yeah. Black women here in our own city can't breathe. Yeah. Black workers who saw their wages drop 13.5% over the last year, while white wages rose to their all-time high. Those workers here in Seattle can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. And the students, the students who are in this building right here, the black students in this building can't breathe because there's a school to prison pipeline being built in every city across this nation and it's no different than right here in Seattle. Here in Seattle, we have four times the rate of suspensions for African American youth than for white youth for the same infractions. We've seen these high stakes tests be pushed across the nation that are used as exit exams to deny predominantly students of color from, from graduating. And then we see them uh, shipped off into the prison cells. And so their strategy here in America is to slowly choke the life out of people of color in this country and especially African Americans yes. and I think we have a different message here today yes. 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 I think we have a message of resistance here today I think we have a message of life here today I think we have a message of hope here today I think we have a message to remake this entire country from the school systems to the court systems and the prison systems, the housing systems, because it, it's like what Chris Rock said. Did you see it? Why is it? Why is it that you that the the bankers can get off uh, with with fraudulent mortgages, right? And, and our our young black youth are the ones being railroaded into prison. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just end by saying that I think these these reforms that are being offered up have nothing to do with Black Lives Matter. The idea that a body camera is going to keep me safe or my students here safe denies the reality that racism has long been part of amassing wealth and power in this nation and won't be disrupted by surveillance. It wasn't for Eric Garner and it won't be anywhere across this country. We demand real change in this nation. The police officer uh, they asked Eric Garner's wife at the press conference 
They said the police officer sends his condolences to you. Do you accept? She said, hell no. And I think we have a right to be angry as we march in the streets today. We have a right to be angry and we have a right to organize, to overturn this system and create something much better that's worthy of our humanity. Thank you, everybody.